Next we move from the orthogonal slicing tab to the curve slicing tab. Obviously portions of the dental anatomy and dental arch are not straight as it, the orthogonal slices are just strictly straight planar slices. The curve slicing allows you to create a slice that goes along the curve of the arch and sometimes the initial software does a pretty good job sometimes as in this case it's not even close so we click on this icon that says manually create an arch so you left click there and it says do you want to delete the previous arch and we say yes now in the axial slice we just simply left click several places along the arch and when you're finished you double left click what this now has done is create a curved slice and if the anatomy doesn't match up exactly to what you want to see any place where you have clicked you can move that curve to create this curved slice and again as we did before we can thicken that slice on a larger volume scan this would be analogous to a panoramic view Sometimes when you thicken the slice, it becomes somewhat fuzzy. A uh, second option is to click on the MIP button right up here, and that usually gives you a little more detail on a thicker slice. Now that you've created that slice, again, we mouse over this semicircle that's blue, hold the left mouse button down. Now we're able to move that slice back and forth. And as you can see on the axial slice, you can see where that slice is moving and where that cut is. And on the view, you can see um, the effect of that moving the slice. In this particular scanned area, not only can we move the slice back and forth, we can change the angle of it. If you left mouse button down over this circle, it becomes a four-way arrow. And if you hold that down, then you can line it up with the region of interest. In this case, it's the fused distal buckle and palatal roots on this tooth. And once we've changed the angle, then moving the slice back and forth is usually illustrates the anatomy better. And again, you can also thicken that slice see more of the anatomy. So here this number it's 1.1 uh, I'm sorry 1.4 millimeters.